Um, in this quick little recording, I'll try and keep it quick, we're going to look at the simple multiplier as a bit of a mini lesson. So this fits into the economic growth uh, part of the economic issues topic. All right. So this fits into Keynes's or John, Ma John Maynard Keynes's uh, model of aggregate demand and aggregate supply. So if you need to go back over this, you could pause this here and have a quick look through. But essentially the components of aggregate demand that you can see here, C-I-G-X-M, uh, X minus M, if we increase one of these uh, components of aggregate demand, this is where we'll look that they'll see that they'll actually get multiplied to uh, actually increase the amount of national income. So we need to know what these components are of aggregate demand, C, I, G, uh, and you could look through that if you need to go over that again, as well as the, the, these where are they, uh, this is where they fit into the circular flow of income. So we've got uh, our aggregate demand is the total of demand for goods and services in an economy and these are the main components that the government's aiming to manage. So for example, they might try and increase consumer spending or investment spending or government spending and these would be injections into the economy. Okay, but the simple multiplier itself is the extent to which an initial change in the components of AD that we just said will lead to a larger change in national income generating economic growth. So in this example, we'll look at increased investment as uh, a change in the aggregate demand. So the change in Y, which is the national income, sometimes it's NY. Change in national income is equal to K, our multiplier, times the change in aggregate demand. So we need to know this equation because the simple multiplier often comes up as a multiple choice equ equation uh, in the HSC, but we've also got to have an understanding of it to look at how policies can actually improve economic growth. So then the added investment in the diagram demonstrates an increase in aggregate demand. And this is what we're gonna look at. If we've got along this axis here, national income, Y or YN, sometimes NY, uh, running along this axis. And then we've got real GDP along the other axis. Here consumption represents aggregate demand or C and AS is our aggregate supply. And we can see that they meet here uh, on the curve. So then if we take our consumption, our aggregate demand, and we add investment, so we change one of these components of aggregate demand, we increase investment, we can see that that point where the curves meet has increased to up, up and to the right to over here. So it's now at 500 GDP, but we can see that change in aggregate demand has caused this change in GDP, but it's short, it's caused sorry, a greater change in national income along the bottom here. So this increase here to national income is greater than the change in uh, GDP. And a small change in investment has shown a great change in national income. So the added investment in the diagram rep represents an increase in aggregate demand. This corresponds to an increase in real GDP and national income can be seen, however, that the change in Y is greater than the change in real GDP, there's been a multiplying effect going on here, and that's what we have to look at. Okay, so K, this is the actual, what the K st stands for and how we work out K. K is equal to one over one minus MPC. This also can be represented as K equals one over MPS. The simple multiplier is the reciprocal of MPS. What's our MPS and MPC again? We should already know that. MPS is equal to the marginal propensity to save, MPC the marginal propensity to consume. So pro marginal propensity meaning that if we would give you an extra dollar, are you going to save it or spend it? What's your propensity? What are you going to do with that extra dollar? So if it is 0 0.8 MPS, 0 0.2 that should be uh, MPC. 
then you're more likely to save uh, 80 cents of that dollar and spend or consume 20 cents of the dollar. So it has to equal to one and we're going to get some kind of ratio. So if it was 0.5 and 0.5, then if I gave you an extra dollar, you're going to save 50 cents and spend 50 cents or save half, spend, spend half. So our MPC or our MPS is going to affect how uh, this change in aggregate demand, if we change one of those components, how it gets multiplied through the system to give us our change in national income. So K is equal to one over one minus MPC. So the simple multiplier is just the reciprocal of MPS. So if we get given the MPC, we can work out the MPS and vice versa. And we can do a quest practice question using that now. So we'll do two. So Y equals C plus S. We know that income equals consumption and saving. So uh, if your income's $100, if you, cons you consume $80 uh, and you uh, save $20, then your MPC is 0.8 and MPS is 0.2. We know that from, like, from that equation, Y equals C plus S. So if incre investment increase, if this is our consumption and saving or our MPC and MPS in this question, we need to have one of those at least first. If we know this is 0.8, then that would be 0.2. But if investment increases by $100 billion to try and stimulate growth, how can we work out what is the actual change in national income here? So K equals 1 uh, over 1 minus MPC. There's our formula. K equals 1 over 1 minus 0.8 in this situation. Well, first we'll work out K. So it's 0.8 our MPC. So it's one over 0.2, which is going to be five. K is equal to five. We plug it back into that same equation. The change in national income equals K times the change in aggregate demand. So Y is equal to five times 100. So there's 500 billion uh, increase in national income. So Y is equal to K, our multiplier, which in this case we worked it out to be five, times that change in aggregate demand. This time it's an increase in 100 billion. It's not always going to be an increase though. This could be a decrease in a, a component of aggregate demand and it could uh, cause then a, a decrease in national income. So see that that's gotten multiplied. It hasn't just led to a $100 billion increase in national income. It's been multiplied as and increased as it's gone through. Okay, let's look at one more quick one. This is from 2012 HSE. So an increase in investment of $5,000 increases the equilibrium level of national income by $20,000. What is the marginal propensity to consume? So MPC. So this is backwards. We can look at what it's giving us and then what it's asking for. So this could be something like 0.2 could be the MPC. So then the MPS would be 0.8. So we've got to remember this is the MPC they're asking for, not the MPS. So we've got the change in aggregate demand. We've got the change in uh, the national income. So we can plug that in to that equation. So I, or the change in aggregate demand is $5,000. Y is $20,000. Change in Y equals the multiplier times the change in aggregate demand. So $20,000 equals... Uh, K times $5,000 when we just plug that in. $20,000 equals four times $5,000 because in this instance, K equals one over one minus MPC. Uh, four, if we, like, if we do the maths to that, if it's going to be four, um, uh, sorry, that's uh, to get the, the $20,000 from the $5,000, you need it times the $5,000 by four. So we know K is going to be equal to four. That's a simple one to work out. So four is going to be equal to, if that we use a simpler one to find the MPS, one over 0 0.25, because one over 0.25 is going to be equal to four. So it works out pretty easily. But remember we need the, uh, it's going to equal to one. That's our MPS, not our MPC. So the MPC is going to be equal to 0.75. So that's just another example of a question that they might 
asked. It shows that you need to memorize these calculations. Change in y equals k times change in ad and also what the multiplier equals to. And we also need to have an understanding of how the simple multiplier works. So that's a pretty simple start off with. You can uh, go back through this if I've been a little bit quick and you need to look back at some of the slides. Thanks for listening, guys.